when a small object orbits a big object in space, the less massive one doesn't really travel in a perfect circle around the larger one. Rather, both objects orbit a combined center of gravity. But reality is always more complicated. For example, when the International Space Station orbits Earth, both Earth and the space station orbit their combined center of gravity. But that center of gravity is so absurdly close to the center of Earth that the planet's motion around the point is impossible to spot, and the space station follows a nearly perfect circle around the whole planet. The same truth holds when most planets orbit the Sun. The Sun is just so much larger than Earth, Venus, Mercury, or even Saturn that the centers of mass with the Sun all lie deep within the star itself. But in case of Jupiter, it's so huge that it doesn't actually orbit the Sun. Not exactly. With 2.5 times the mass of all the other planets in the solar system combined, it's big enough that the center of gravity between Jupiter and the Sun doesn't actually reside inside the Sun, rather at a point in space just above the Sun's surface. The gas giant is so big that its center of mass with the Sun or barycenter actually lies 1.07 solar radii from the middle of the Sun or 7% of the Sun's radius above the Sun's surface. Both the Sun and Jupiter orbit around that point in space. This is how Jupiter and the Sun move through space together. Though the distances and sizes are far different, Jupiter is still only a fraction of the Sun's size. So next time someone asks you for a crazy space fact, you'll know Jupiter is so massive it doesn't orbit the Sun. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe our channel and like us on all other social networks. We release awesome science videos every week, so check out our channel for tons of cool videos. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section and subscribe for more weekly science videos.